today I'm going to show you how you can create an account and start hashing with Luxor. First, you gotta go to app.luxor.tech and create an account. So you go to register account, use the email you are going to use to log in. And this is very important. Since you are going to point out your machines using this username, and this is uh, the name of the sub account, this name has to be unique. It means that if it's repeated uh, as a message, it's going to prompt, and you have to select a new one. Okay, after that, you are going to go to your mail and use that to verify your account. If you have verified your account, you gotta go back to the login page and just log in. This is the first dashboard that you are going to see. On the left side, you're going to see what sub account you have, which you can toggle between sub accounts. At this platform, you can have up to 50 sub accounts where you can add an uh, unlimited number of workers per sub account in this part. Why do you do that in order for you to have a better management an order of your accounts, especially if you are having different sites or different locations, it is a very good idea for you to have this. So before we jump into adding a worker, we are going to set up a wallet address or you to create your payments. Okay, so it is important for you to go to wallet and add a new wallet where you can just set the address and the thresholds. The thresholds is very important since it is the minimum amount that we are going to be paying you at, at this time. So whenever you hit this threshold and one hour has passed automatically, you will have your payout on your wallet address. On your wallet, you gotta go back to your dashboard and add a new worker. Whenever you are going to add a new worker, you are being asked for a stratum address and a worker configuration. This worker configuration, Luxor has set it up automatically for you and randomly, but you can name your worker however you want in order for you to have a better management of your, of your machines. Remember, this information is going to be set at your setup config on your machine um, page, okay, which I'm going to show you later. How does it look like to set up in that machine? To find setup guides in order for you to find how to set up your machine. In this case, I'm going to show you how to, how to set an S19, which it is uh, an article we wrote and it, it takes you step by step on how to, how to find your IP address, then how to find your uh, how to how to set your mining pool setup here is where you are going to set your stratum address the worker name which remember it has to be sub account dot worker name okay and this is the information you are going to be setting up which is pretty straightforward and once you start doing that then you have to wait up for a couple of minutes for for us to receive a valid share and start seeing your hash rate. Once you have set up your config on the machine, when you log in to your dashboard, you will see something like this. On the upper side of the dashboard, you can see the mining overview of your sub account with map views that goes from 15 minutes to 24 hour intervals, where you can see the hash rate, the share efficiency percentage, and the mine revenue under this period. If you want to know what happened under a certain time of the day, you can also do this by selecting the 15 minutes to 24 hour man view. There are three types of icons that you should be putting attention to. The green one are the workers that are online and hashing correctly, whereas the red ones are the ones that are dead or offline, and the yellow ones who are workers that need to be paying attention to. Sometimes it's a firmware issue or 
the fan trouble that just with a rebooting from your machine will take care of it. If you go to the lower side of the dashboard, you can check individual stats of the workers. If you select one, you can see 24 hour information of the workers with their proper stats. If by any reason you have a worker that is offline or you don't want them any longer, over here, you just can delete that worker. Important to remember that at Luxor, we only pull this information from your setup configuration. It means that whatever the name you select under your setup config, Luxor is going to pull this information, okay? Just as we saw before, remember, if you point your machines to the stratum and put a given name or one that is randomly created by the platform, Luxor will accept a share and automatically will have it over here. It is important for management purposes to have a, better, a good naming strategy in order for you to manage your account. Let's talk about revenue. If you go to the upper side of your dashboard and click on the revenue tab, you can see two main columns. One is transactions and the other is revenue. What is the difference between these two? Revenue, it's a daily stat. It means that it doesn't matter what happened, you will have a daily stat of your hash rate, the efficiency of that hash rate, and the balance you made under this day. Whereas transactions, it's based on the actual threshold that you set up. It is important to understand the following. The pending balance is the amount of Bitcoin that you have available on your account and has not been transferred to you. The all-time payouts, it's clear that it's the entire amount of Bitcoin that we have paid you during a relationship. And these two other information is the last 24 hour revenue and the 30 day rolling revenue of Bitcoin with a variation percentage. The watcher link, which is a way to provide another person to have access to your information, but very basic. For example, if you create a new link, let's say this is the one that I created, you just you will have access to very basic information, which is just the hash rate in terms of a graphic and the individual workers information. If by any reason you want to give access to somebody else, but only view permissions, please submit a ticket to our send desk. And this is pretty much it. Thank you very much for mining. Adlocks are a pool you can trust.